Madam Speaker. I call Clement Kong. The topics of suicide and mental health seem to have been discussed over generations and generations, and it seems like we're beating a dead horse. Beating it over and over again, it's because despite constant discussion that's been happening over decades, it is still a growing issue in our country. As a New Zealander, I love this country, but we aren't perfect. There's this constant rhetoric about how New Zealand is this amazing country when the reality is our foundation is crumbling. The suicide rate is at a record high of 668 New Zealanders. I've lost classmates and friends to suicide, and I shouldn't have to ask who will be the next one. These are our brothers and our sisters of Aotearoa that are being lost to suicide. Madam Speaker, New Zealand has the highest suicide rate for youth per capita of all OECD countries. The reality is New Zealand will never be the best country for our children to grow up in if we don't address the issue and actually invest in prevention. There's such an emphasis on the victims and treating mental health, but at that stage, the cake's already half-baked. This should be a focus on stopping them from even getting into the cycle. It's about creating awareness on mental health and focusing more on well-being, which has been more common in our time, but the extent they're exposed still isn't good enough. 668 is the number that we lost to suicide. If that number was halved, it would be good, but not good enough. If it was a quarter of it is today, it would be good, but not good enough. Even if it was 1%, that is good, but not good enough. The only number that is good enough is zero for New Zealand. The truth is that I go through the vicious cycles of depression. The other New Zealanders that have gone through this understand why I'm advocating for greater change, because we don't want others to experience what we go through. We don't want our children or grandchildren or the generations after that to go through that pain. We don't want them to know the pain of seeing that empty desk and thinking of the person that once sat in that chair. We don't want them to see the shoes and think of the person that once filled them. Madam Speaker, the horse may be already dead, but the need to keep on beating it is still there. And I ask for true change for New Zealanders, for our brothers and sisters, for our friends and classmates, for the future generations, because we can make genuine change because it's our lives and our children's lives on the line. This is necessary change for Aotearoa. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I call Chanel Chaville Mitlau. Nathan Bullivan, I'm going to make a ramakana to run a vacuum. I'm going to make a ramakana to run a vacuum.